Good day, Lords and ladies, and welcome back to Rimworld Medieval Far From Home. Last episode, not a lot happened. We got some defences up, finished building a dungeon, well, prison or jail, technically. It's not really a dungeon. If I wanted to do that, I would have gotten the that, that particular unpleasant mod that allows you to torture people. Um, but here we are back in the campaign. They're collecting the food that they need, which is fantastic. Lots of pumpkins. We had discussed, because we haven't had any missions recently, we had discussed going out into the world map uh, to do some things. Maybe some trading. We don't have a lot of resources at the moment. We have a lot of... Uh, well, we have a lot of, of cloth, to be honest. I want to get rid of some of it. Maybe buy some useful stuff for the colony. We picked up some boomalopes. So, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Well, one second, folks. How about that? Right. So, if we look at the world map, we've got like 11, 12 people. Eh, annoying. So, what is our next objective? Probably our next objective is, if we're being honest, is the continuation of a long-standing goal of ours. We need to basically reinforce this wall. This wall and the, the north and southern walls need to get reinforced. Either by putting defences in place, Putting an extra layer on them would probably be good. It would mean I'd had to dig up these graves. Which, at the end of the day, is frustrating. But, well, if it comes down to losing the settlement because we didn't put graves in place, well, I can think of worse things. So, also, we had a mission I wanted to finished digging out this area, which actually is something I might do right now while the game is ticking over. So I think what we'll do is we'll put uh, deconstruct, we'll put a mining order on here. Straighten this area up. Get people down there to, to basically take care of it. Off manufacturers coming along. Where is that person? No, mine, I was cancel it to get the lever back. Okay. So. Is that coming along? Is there anything worth hunting for food? Got a bunch of alpacas. Yeah, fine. Someone could hunt those alpacas. So. Still some basic tasks to do. Uh, got some flooring to put down in here, realistically speaking. Has some more chunks to get processed. Get some more statues turned out. Yeah. Get enough clothes and stuff being made that we don't need to worry about it. Okay. They're coming through. So much stuff just lying here. That's one of the things I really liked about the Warhammer 40k uh, mod that I tend to play with. Learning Frenzy, fantastic. Is that you can just like, when it comes to these massive piles of just garbage you just literally put a drop point they put them all in it and then you just take a flamethrower and you just burn it all it is relatively effective in my experience right okay so they're traveling by question is do we want to send out a caravan we don't have a lot of supplies uh animals that are eating stuff that's getting dug dug out which is fine put a floor down maybe granite blocks don't want to use granite really do we have enough wood how much flooring do we need 
we just put straw. I don't think we have enough straw there, unfortunately. Yeah, if I check my resources. Uh, oh, we've got 36 straw. Which isn't really enough to basically throw down straw matting. Look, throw straw into the to the jailhouse and add. It's probably better just to use, say, wood or something. Yeah, do it like that. Put a floor down for them. Stops them from going completely aggro every five seconds. Okay. They're chopping wood. They're doing that. That's all got planted up. It's not a lot. Chop that wood there. We are starting to run out of wood. Ironically, this actually this is rather indicative of what actually happened in the medieval period. Uh, they had to have pretty controlled deforestation practices, purely due to the fact that well. As you can see, uh, if you're uncontrolled with your forestry and cutting too much wood, you don't have a lot of wood left. Oh, that wood's not good. Oh, there's a bit there. Collect the last of the pumpkins. Ooh, a crop sprout. Garve. Not worth it. I don't care about like five or six agave plants. Okay. I love the fact that our dungeon is love. Our prison is lovely and nice, while the slave, while well, the serfs' quarters are absolutely terrible. Yeah, I suppose it mimics. Reality in some ways. Serfs lived in pretty nasty conditions, like especially ones like in say uh the Russian Empire under the Tsars, they lived in pretty terrible um living conditions. That even the people of the time made comment of. Minor fire risk. That yeah, would be fine. There we go. Exploded. Ah, uh, that's actually pretty bad because that's going to burn up my um. Okay, zone. That will burn that up, which I can't afford that to happen. Okay, I should also do this, which is granite, reinforce that, or stat. Everyone's getting on with their own jobs. And we have enough Sus floating around. Fantastic. Okay. Another good quality sculpture, which is great. Oh, 
Which rooms now need sculptures? Coming under a siege. This is going to be problematic since the sieges... The problem with sieges is that sieges in this game use actual... Well... They use actual... Um, artillery, so we do have to go out and actually fight these guys, which is annoying. What do they got weapon-wise? Not so bad. Okay, so let's first things first. Let's close off these doors so people don't run out and get beaten up. We'll gather everybody up. See what we're working with combat-wise. Probably what I want to do is I want to take people that have muskets and we're going to do... We're just going to basically start picking them off. You guys, are the one, the other ones with muskets are basically going to take up positions. Yeah, we're going to have to stop this. So we're going to basically deploy the Ray Toad strategy of snipe them from, from range. The rest of you guys can go back your business. The rest of you are going to get outside. Who are you following? It's... Okay. Uh, set to none for the moment. Okay, we should have enough ammunition to do this. They're having stuff dropped in and they actually are getting guns brought up. So we need to basically go down and take care of this now. Because the moment they start dropping artillery, we're in real trouble. Set up their incendiary cells. Let's try. Um. Yeah, let's let's set up a, a line here. Fall back further. Let's target the person building up the mortars. Come on. Reload as quickly as you can, please. Okay, so they're starting their assault. So we need to basically get back into Dodds as quickly as possible. Come on, guys, move it, move it, move it. Okay. Great sword. Okay. Ballard, you need to get down here. Okay. Everybody else. Needs to, to basically get their act together and get over here. Okay, you get to here, Ballard, you're running for this gate, you're running for this part here, my friend. Uh, John, cover this approach. Rubber, you're basically going here.
They're trying to get through the gate. I'll allow that. Okay. Hit that one. Yeah, you are not going through this gate. They're running all the way around, which is pretty bad. Okay. Uh, get in here. You can't do anything. You're going to get in here as well and give some covering fire. The problem is they're still really determined to get through that wall. Okay, that's bad. That's going to break if I don't do something about that. Okay, that doorway's lost, so we need to fall back. And some of you... Yeah. Just need a couple of people. You need to re reinforce this section. Are you reloaded? If they break through there, we're in real trouble. It's currently they're spread out all over the map. Get through the door, get through the door. Bang. Nab it. That's my mistake. How bad is he cut up? Shot him, you silly fool. Okay. So, how bad is he hurt? Right thumb has been cut off. That's not great. When was this? Willem Bock. So okay, they're basically bugging out right now and fleeing. Well, not all of them are, but the ones that are on the floor aren't. Okay, so... Uh, Brandon. Uh, stabilize him first. Okay, we stabilize him so we won't bleed out right away. Grasshopper. Um, rescue him, please. Okay. He's dead. He's pretty much dead. Yeah, he's got like gun sock wounds for days. Uh, six hours. He's pretty good in melee. Medicine wouldn't be too bad. These guys are limping off the battlefield. 
taking what's left of their pride with them. That person's pretty much dead. That person's going to be dead soon enough. And a lot of resources that we can collect. Okay, straight up fight, nothing too bad. Four hours for this person. So a smattering of people fell. He took a bit at some injuries, nothing great. That person is, yeah, I'm not going to put that person's 87. That's got the keel over in a strong breeze, even though they have really nice stats. Okay. So, six hours. Capture that person. Yeah, we'll capture that person as well. Yeah, I know Connors needs rescue. Come on, where's Grasshopper? Come on, Grasshopper. Get to him, get to him, get to him. No one coming to save you! Dear goodness me. That person's dead. Um, they're just terrible. Kind. Savage Empire. Come on. Save him. Save him, save him, save him. Okay. So hopefully he won't suffer from an infection. Just to make sure when he wakes up I'll get our priest to take care of that. Okay. This person out here. Okay, we'll grab, get someone to basically go and grab him. And we'll have to remember to unlock the gates. Now I want to have like a ton of people in the settlement. Partly because. As with most things in this game. Unfortunately the more that you, you have. The slower the game performs. It is already slightly laggy at speed free anyway. Which is annoying. Um, 18. Uh, do I want to let an 18 die? Ugh. Already sort of. Built more prisons. Oh, more beds in the prisons. But I won't, I will not let it be said that Cornus Knight left an 18 year old to bleed out on the battlefield. So someone can go and grab him. Okay. One of you can do construction, right? Okay, you can't. You can, though. So yeah, fix up the hole in the uh, the wall, please. Get that finished and repaired. And we've got another. Um, Really? Okay, bloke died from blood loss. Who was that one? Bio. That was the really old dude. Ah, well. Can't be helped. Like, do I want to help these beggars? Because that's going to use up a lot of my silver. Travel move on after one day. Yeah, but that's so much... Okay, fine. Suppose being a good Samaritan comes with its own 
comes with its own consequences. We'll just have to... We'll just have to basically eat the loss and maybe send some stuff out to trade. You slaves. Oh. The thing is, I keep calling them slaves because that's what the game says, but they're really just serfs, which, well, as I said before, it's... I know technically there's, there's, there's supposed to be a difference. That guy broke blood out as well. Okay. Well, they both died. We tried to save them, but alas, they knew the risks. Okay. Let's grab these survival meals. Grab the wood. Incendiary rounds would have been really nasty if they'd hit our base, I'm not going to lie. And we'll grab the components. The uranium. Uh, reinforced barrels are nice because you use them to make a lot of very powerful ranged weapons. Starving? Oh, he is. Okie dokie. So that, yeah, we lost a good chunk of our resources. Who got an infection? Please not be one of my people. No, it's one of the prisoners. Okay. It's in the torso. And uh, well, if they live, they'll live. If they die, they die. It's just how it is. Yeah, let's go outside and collect, collect up all the stuff that we used up. You can see why now I desperately want to reinforce this wall. Granite walls, yeah. I think it's time that we reinforce, especially this section where we're really weak. Um... I'm going to move these, like, uh, burners to somewhere that's better located. Why don't we have any, any ammunition? That's worrying. I thought we had some ammunition stored over here. I mean, I could just put the rubbish burners in here, but it's quite a long trek. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, let's put them in here. Copy settings, expand zone. Paste settings. We'll go builds. Because they, they punched through that granite wall really quickly. But we set this up for... Yeah, musket balls. Do I need to make some more? Oh, I've got a bit of steel floating about. I suppose I could... Uh, make musket balls. Make another 1500. So he's up and about. Aching like the ace of spades. And he's going to basically regain his equipment. Uh, Brandon, while you're here, we'll go do that on him. To basically give him a chance to resist infection rate and everything. that resource opportunity 
research opportunity, sorry. It's not the best research. Uh, uh, all the way out there. Eh, we could do it. It's not too far. Of his estate. Who's the best researcher? You just straight up send John. We could send two people. We might just do that. That shouldn't take too long to do. Form a caravan. Knowledge. Okay. Our best researcher is the blind old guy. And where is he? Where starts with K? Kazuka. Okay. So Kazuya. We'll send him and John. You guys can take a couple of the horses. Will greatly cut down the amount of travel time. Take a bit of kibble. Don't take any of that. Take a little bit of food for the road. Take a single bed. Yeah, it's fine. We should be good to go. Okay. Where's that person going? Why did, why did you go all the way around there? Okay. Reinforce that wall. Get this situation done. Then deconstruct that. Expand that. Oh, that zone's already been up. So then we can uh, delete that zone. Takes them a bit longer to get over there, but we're just going to have to live with it. We need to re start reinforcing this wall because they keep on breaking through here, which is really worrying for me. Okay. We still got enough granite, that's fine. So we'll start reinforcing this section of the wall. So you guys can come down here and uh no accessible storage space. Really? Um, well, that sucks. Made a brewery, but never did anything with it. Okay, for some, for now, let's go clear all. Go. Package survival meals. We'll get our serfs to basically run down and... Yeah, get down there, prioritize doing it. Thank you. Goodbye. They're leaving the map, which is fantastic. While we're at it, we use some of the brick we have. We have a bit of brick, and we'll get that wall there finished, fixed up. That's been built in. Right. Formed and left. Our walls look terrible. A mismatch of bits and pieces left over from various repairs. Ironically, a lot of medieval castles were like this. Um, you have to remember that during periods of intense warfare, like you patched up the castle as best you could. So if you see a castle that has lots of lovely, like all, all the same color, um, walling it normally in indicates that that castle really ooh oh did i use brick for that rather than flagstone yeah that's that's not good that's gonna have cost me a lot of resources alas my stupidity maybe we can get some of the resources back 
Okay. Arms merchant. Sell some stuff off. And I got enough gear that's lying about in the open. Yeah, I think uh, next time I do this, I think I'm definitely going to get the mod that allows you to prioritize what people pick up. It just saves us time in the long run. If they're going to buy supplies, let's go that have that then we'll see if we can sell that stuff off that trick may not work i know that the devs were have been meaning to sort of replace and get rid of that trick okay trade with the traders so i can't i don't have any use for the incendiary mortar rounds or anything like that so Yeah, I'm on. Okay, so. What are they willing to basically buy from us? Not a lot. Got another small quality statue, which is nice. Yeah, take all our worn out clothing. So it just takes up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can always make another one. Okay. Yeah, take the mortar cells. Really don't need those. Um, what else? They're not giving us a good amount of money for anything, really. No more wolves. We don't need any more wolves. Pigs are coming on fine. We got prisoners. Yeah, let's get rid of these guys. They're not of our religion. It shouldn't cause us a mass. It hopefully won't cause us a massive impact. No. So you can take the two people we captured. Neither of them are of any real use for me. Wait, did we sell someone of our own religion? I didn't think we did. Did we? Then comes the stupid thing, I might have sold someone of our faith. Let's just check and make sure we haven't done a blunder and done that. What happened? The research and disaster was an explosion that killed a few people. Wait, 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 wait. Mother's estate? How did that go so wrong? Okay, so they're out for our blood now. Uh, you're not going to be any use with that, so you better take out your sword, mate. Ooh. Wait. Oh, they went hostile on us? Oh, that's bad. So I'm trying to figure out what happened.
So you just basically okay, yeah, fine, no mate, you're you're not you're not getting away with that. Shoot him in the face. These guys have literally just gone rogue and have just attacked us. What happened? No, I just want to... Because this is actually really... I've never had this happen to me before. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. When was that? Just trying to figure out. Because now it basically means with this happening, we've lost most of our trading. For... Uh, I don't want to roll back. Wait, I have never seen that. That's literally like the worst thing that could happen. Yeah, yeah, fine. So the traders aren't here. Do we still have the research opportunity? Do we still have the research opportunity? We haven't sent anyone on it yet. So they wanted people with high research. I sent off two of my best. I've never had that happen before. So I'd basically reload. I normally don't, to be honest. Like... I just wanted to make it clear, like, the reason I did that was because it was just unbelievably strange. And yes, I know we should have probably just let it turn over. So they send it being sent off on the request. Okay, there we go. Like, did we have to basically decide who was leading the caravan, or what did they just... I can't remember how these requests go. Do they just take the highest person with the highest skill? Uh, active. Info. The site where present research was requested. Okay. I've never seen that happen before. Like, I mean, we messed up bad enough that we went from 7, plus 7, to basically minus 77. And we did apparently sell one of our people. Okay. Right. Well, that was a little screw up on my end. Um, unfortunately, that. Unfortunate that. Okay, 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 okay. Well, that's bad. I don't like basically doing that. Animal herd wanders in. Animal herd. Oh, animal herd wanders in. Okay, that's fine. Well, next time, Lords and Ladies, we'll get back to this. I've been Cornus Knight. This has been Rimworld Medieval Far From Home, and I'll see you all again next time. Goodbye.